Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Eco Studio and today I'm gonna share with you some tips to stay organized in Fusion. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the Fusion page and I'm gonna share with you a couple of tips and tricks that I use to stay organized uh, when I create my node structure. So here, let's just start by bringing, for example, a background, then I'm gonna bring a text, I'm gonna link those two with a merge, I'm gonna just make it messy so I'm not exactly sure how things go like this, okay? That's not really nice. If I continue to work like that, I'm gonna have no idea what I'm doing very quickly. So the first thing that I will recommend is first off, right-clicking on your working area, and here you can just click line up tool to grid. That will just snap everything in place to the grid. That should structure a little bit more the node tree, but uh, if I have to do that every time I'm doing something new, uh, it's just gonna be inconvenient. So you can activate this function automatically by right-clicking again, and here, right above line up all tool to grid, you have orange tool and here you can just click to grid. And basically now, when you move your nodes around, they will just snap automatically to the grid. So that makes it just way easier to automatically organize stuff to the grid and have something that looks clean and organized. Another thing you can do depending on your preferences is that you can change the aspect of your connection. So here, for example, as you can see, the lines are direct. They're gonna take the shortest way to the next point, but you could do it differently by again, right-clicking there and here in option, you could choose from direct pipe, which is the one selected right now, or orthogonal pipes. So orthogonal pipes, as you can see now, it's just gonna create pipes that are aligned to the grid. So depending on what is clearer to you, you may prefer one or another. I personally don't really like it because you can very quickly uh, lose track of what's going on. And because sometimes the line are just getting on top of each other and then it's just uh, a bit tricky to see actually what's going on. For example, here, uh, as you can see now, it just, those two lines feel like they are merging and we're not necessarily sure uh, which one is going where straight away we need to click and see which one is going where so in my opinion that's not ideal what i prefer to do instead if my composition start to get a bit complicated is using routers so i'm gonna right click and here in option i'm just gonna switch back to direct pipe and here i'm gonna use routers so i'm gonna hold option on my keyboard and just click to create a new router for windows users that's gonna be holding alt and then clicking on the line now i've created a pipe router and the only function of it is just to reorganize the direction offline so then i can just create those and really decide on the direction of each of my lines and in my opinion that's just a better way to just organize things because you have full control over it and it's uh, easier to read your composition a great use case is for this, for example, will be here when I have one node that is just linked to a bunch of other nodes. Instead of having all those different lines, what we could do is here going at the beginning of all those lines and old option again to just create the router and then just bring that up over here. It's just tidying up everything and it looks cleaner. And again, it's easier to read. Another great way to organize things is going to be to use groups. So here, when you're just going to do your uh, composition, maybe on one of the branch, you start to have a bunch of things. Here you have a bunch of masks uh, coming up together. You can just select your node and on your keyboard, hit Command J on Mac or Control G on Windows. And as you can see, it will just create a group with the node that you've selected. To open that group, you can just double click on it. It will just prompt open that window. You can then just close it when you're done making modification to any node inside that group. When you start to have a lot of things in the group, you can also click right here. And when you move your mouse around, you'll be able to just uh, get around pretty easily. You can also expand that group to see a bit uh, more clearer what's going on over there and then you can just close it. Another alternative to group is using underlay. So here I can just hit shift space on my keyboard and search for underlay. And basically here, anything that's gonna be inside that underlay, I'm gonna be able to just move it around like a group. You can easily just rename it and change the color, but be careful if you change the color or try to rename it, that's gonna offer you the possibility to just change a name for every node inside it. Cause now, as you can see, uh, the stuff that is inside the underlay are uh, selected as well. So before doing that, just make sure that there is uh, nothing in your underlay, just remove it here change the color to whatever you want. So here I'm just gonna right click there, rename it for uh, group one, for example. Then I'm gonna right click again and change the color to purple. And now I can just use it to uh, create my group without it affecting the node inside it. And we can now easily move everything around. 
but as you can see it doesn't hold the property of a group there is not an output to that underlay now we can just have free output right here from each individual node and what I just said earlier about uh, the name and the color, as you can see now, everything is uh, selected in that underlay. So if I want to change the color, that's also going to change the color of my node inside it. Same thing if I try to rename stuff. If I go and rename thing, as you can see, it's asking me to also rename uh, the merge if I want, etc., etc. And the underlay is just uh, the last thing that they offer me to change. So if you have a lot of things in the underlay, that's just not the way to go. Just rename and change the color before uh, using it with all the nodes. And one last thing, if you're working with other people and you want to leave nodes in uh, the working area, you can do that very easily by here hitting shift space again on your keyboard and search for nodes. And here you're going to add a sticky note. So you can just write anything you want. If, for example, you want to write some expressions uh, or just a note like, please check if it works. We can just then move that node around, reduce it. We can just have it uh, in the underlay as well, etc., etc. So that could be a good way to just organize things if uh, you're working with someone else, or if you just want to have some reminder of some expression or whatever that you're gonna use uh, often in that project. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next, and see you on the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.